the Productivity and Innovation Centre works with established small and medium-sized businesses who are seeking to put together a coherent strategy to scale up, improve aspects of how productive they are and really target the types of customers and projects that really are their sweet spot for profitability. The rationale for the centre is to become a catalyst for change. It helps organisations with growth potential change their perspective on where their opportunities are. And it's a framework to give people, and we say it, to work on the business, not in it. Strategy is always up there, it's important, but it's, it's very much an informal part of the business. For a long time, the strategy is based in one person's mind. We'd, we'd sort of hit a ceiling, if you will. Our turnover hadn't really increased for the previous sort of three or four years. Continuing to do the same thing, we'll only get the same results, so we needed to change something. Tom, Simon and the team down at Edgehill did a great job of not allowing us to avoid the question. Some of our guys, without being pushed and probed, were happy with the first answer that they came up with. It really got us looking much closer at what our core business should be and who our target customers should be. So there's been lots of changes come about in the business since the end of the Sprint programme. So in the first 12 months, we had an increase in turnover of uh, over 25%. It was a real a big uh, year for us that year. Looking at the KPIs through the, the 12 months after the Sprint programme, you can see a real shift in the right direction. The biggest problem that we had before we went on the Innovation Sprint really was understanding how to rationalise and simplify and productise what we did. And so we recognised that actually creating a competitive difference which the Sprint offered would be an important part of our growth. From the very first moment we started, we were being challenged on really what Door 4 was, what our product was, and in particular, where our profit came from and how we were going to maximise that part of the business. What we did a lot of, of work and thinking around was understanding how to split our proposition into easily manageable chunks that the customer would understand. And that language and that proposition is still central to how Door 4 presents itself to this day. The quantifiable benefits that we've seen in Door 4 are a growth in turnover of around 15%. We've seen a growth in profitability. We've definitely seen a growth in the number of relationships that themselves are profitable. The opportunities and challenges we needed to address were looking at our client base and being objective about it. What clients were we wanting to deal with? Uh, how did we approach the work with them? How did we engage the staff in the work with the clients? We probably would never have done it if we hadn't have gone on the Sprint programme. We were quite clear, I think, at the start that it wasn't almost like a CPD session. It was, you know, we were going to get our hands dirty on this. I think when you start being asked the uncomfortable questions, why do you do this? Why do you do that? Why do you let this happen? That's when we realised that things were needing to be changed. After completing the programme, things that we sort of learned to think was not to be frightened of change. Sometimes you sit back and think, I can't do that, I can't do that, I won't do that. Uh, but sometimes you've got to do it for the sake of the business and, and the continuity of it. The whole programme and the way it was conducted was very, very well done. The people that we worked with there were very, very knowledgeable. From start to finish, it was a great experience. We're there as a critical friend. We will ask you some uncomfortable questions, but it's not to trip you up. The purpose of doing it is to make sure that we're really getting to the heart of what the issues are, so that when you put your plan back together, it's actually going to address those for you um, and help you take it forward. SMEs now see us as a, a starting point for growth. And that was the objective then, is to, for the universities to create this um, ecosystem that fundamentally did two things. Improved the employment opportunities of our, our graduates and enhanced the knowledge exchange of our academics into organisations. On average, our organisations achieved 29% growth. And in the last two and a half years, we've achieved 97 new jobs. The numbers speak for themselves.